we're not hanging around, we've got plenty to do. I'm trading in a tractor for something a bit better and the pizzeria needs cheese. Subscribe, let's go. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the second half of March. I am just down here, field 15, taking a look at the vines we put in last time around and they are looking really good. Maximum fertilizer, we are getting a 98% yield bonus which is lovely, lovely. And I think we are going to get ourselves some very juicy, very tasty grapes out of this lot. If you cast your eyes to the top right hand side of the screen, you will see that we are now under £100,000 and that makes me unbelievably nervous. We came here with just shy of £5 million, and in six or seven months is it now, we have managed to spend virtually all of that. Now we have invested in machinery, in land, in buildings, in animals and of course in crops like the ones you're looking at here. So it will slowly start to pay us back but it isn't half scary being that low on cash. So I think today we're going to have, I want to say a quiet day, but there is no such thing as a quiet day here on the farm in the Old Valley. We've got various crops going on here. These chaps are all very happy. We've got our red and green lettuce outside. And then if we head over into the greenhouse here, we've got melon and tomato and strawberries. And that is all starting to produce quite nicely, I must say. There we go. These pallets will have to be moved into storage, but we can deal with that later. One immediate issue I do have is just making sure that we are topped up because this operation here is pretty full on. We need to get some solid fertilizer in there, a bit of manure in there, water's all set up, we need some more pallets. In fact, you know what, we can go and get some pallets from down at the carpentry. I'm sure we're going to have some wood that we can sell by now. Now I'm under strict instruction from Dusty not to spend any more money. We can pick up the odd bit here and there, but we're both in agreement that we really don't want to spend any more cash. However, I am opening the doors here to this lovely little Antonio Carrero tractor that we've got perfectly built for our vines that we've got. However, I just don't think this is a good investment. We really do need to find a way of hauling our big pile of manure and getting it into the uh, the greenhouses behind me. The problem is we can't add any attachment on the front of that tractor. It is very much a specialised bit of equipment. So Dusty and I have had this chat backwards and forwards and I think we are actually going to sell this tractor. Beautiful little thing that it is. However, all is not lost. I'm going to replace it with something else. Well, howdy, y'all. How y'all been? We've been pretty busy around here. That's me just getting in the feed for the cattle. I hope y'all doing well. Certainly seems like the traffic picked up around here. Must be the little kitties have gone back to school. What I got y'all here? I want to talk to you about the cattle. Now, we could go ahead and keep buying cattle if we wanted to increase the head but i don't think we want to do that we've got a nice basis here what we need to do is get a nice big boy in here mix up them ladies like see as you know these are milking cows so the aim here is to try and keep the ladies in calf as much as possible that way to keep producing the milk 
Now, if we had all cattle for meat, yeah, I reckon we'd get a nice juicy steak. But if you take that path, you want a block calf. What that means is, you try and get all your ladies in season at the same time, get everyone all in calf, and hopefully those things are dropped within a week to two week period, and that's y'all done. But with the milking cows, block calving just don't work. So my plan is to head down to the auction, pick up a nice big bull. He can get in here, have himself a bit of fun, get these ladies in calf, only nine months time, give or take, We'll have ourselves some baby cows. Soon as the mothers are finished producing a colostrum, then we'll get ourselves some milk. That's how the process works. Well, I'm heading off to the store to get this lovely little machine sold. I will be sorry to let her go. The main reason is... Oh, sorry, chap. You're just crossing over there then, are you? Oh, locals. As I was saying, I haven't really had chance to actually use this tractor, you know, in any real vigour. It's just been a bit of a runaround, so it's a bit of a shame. But we have to be really strategic now. We've got to be super careful. And I feel that getting rid of this thing, trading her up for something else, it's got to be the way forward. We can't really afford to keep any one-trick ponies around here. Yeah, she's a bit of a peach. She really is. Never mind, never mind. It's all a learning process. Well, I can sell the Antonio Carrero Mac 2R for seventy-six thousand three hundred and thirty-five pounds. I could repair for sixty and repaint for nearly four grand. I don't know if that's actually going to be worth doing. However, that is a fair chunk of cash, so I do think this is the right decision. All the repairs are done. All the repainting is done. She's going to go for £80,747. And there we go, our total now, 173 grand. I am feeling much happier about that. However, I'm about to go shopping, but not before I knock this down. Come on then. Here we go. Hey, Great fun. I'm heading down to the animal dealer. Jump on board and come along if you like. I do feel this is going to be the last bit of shopping we do. I've just said it a minute ago, but look at this little thing here. This is literally the smallest tractor I could find on the books, which would allow me to put a front loader on as well. So this thing will absolutely still fit between our vines, but we can now haul around all of our muck. We've also picked up a pallet fork so we can move our pallets around. And we've also got a little hook here so we can put in some bulk bags and get our fertilizer in as well. So I think that is a much better use of our money. This came to 45 grand, another seven grand for the quick front loader, 1500 for the bucket, 1500 for the forks, and another 1500 here for the hook. So as you can probably work out with some quick mass, this is far less than the 80 grand we've just made leaving us with 116,957. So we're now back above the 100K mark and we've got all this equipment, which is gonna be great for our operation. Well, there he is. That's a mighty fine specimen of manhood right there. God damn, look at the size of them horns. That's what we need. We need a real horny feller. Stick him in the field. Oh yeah. Right, so let's uh, get everything underway then. Power, power. Yes, steering's good. Oh, it's super light, actually. I do love a Massey Ferguson. Not the modern ones. Funny enough, the Masseys have only been something I've got into very recently. I've always been a Fent guy. But yeah, we had a lovely Massey down in Erlengratz. What a great machine that was. Okay, let me just make sure hydraulics are all good. 
you always got to test these things you got any issues it's easier to go in to get the guys out and have a check before we head off right well i'm gonna to have to do a couple of runs because i've got these two items to pick up but i'll give you an opportunity to give this baby a bit of a run sounds great she really does I'm going to take a run down here only because I want to show you something. Now, those of you who have been watching and following along will know that at the end of last episode, I made a promise. And if you cast your eyes to the right just now, you will see exactly what it is we put into the ground. Indicator on and let's pull into our field area here and I'll show you exactly what it is. There we go. That's right, we decided to plant some apple trees. So we've now got ourselves a little orchard, only five. They're 1,500 pounds a pop, so we didn't want to go too mad. But I tell you what, these are quality, quality apples. And I think we're going to get a nice, nice yield out of these. Over time, we'll add more trees and we'll just cover this whole area with a lovely orchard. So we're going to have our bees and our insects helping to get everything growing here. They're going to be coming up here. They're going to be helping with our crops here, our grapes. And above and beyond that, as you know, we've got our greenhouses. So this really is a proper cottage area now. Lots of fruit, lots of veg. I absolutely love it. This is the favourite part of the farm for me. That lovely fine specimen of man back there was only 800 pounds. While I was inside making the deal, the owner had the opportunity to bend my ear. And it turns out I couldn't say no. So I picked myself up a ram as well. So it ain't just the cattle who are going to be having a good day. I think our little sheep ladies they're going to be having a whale of a time. Just got a text message on my phone. Great demand at the pizzeria. Have we got anything we can sell at the pizzeria? Let's have a quick check on my PDA. So where are we? Uh, eggs. Uh, max value. Yes, the eggs aren't as good as they would sell. Pizzeria, pizzeria, pizzeria. Cheese at the pizzeria. Max price is normally three and a half grand. Jesus, it's going for 3,700. And we've got 13 grand's worth. I think we need to get that sold. Right, where's my mobile? I'll give Dusty a quick ring. Uh, Punching the number. Right, okay. It's ringing. Well, yeah, it could do, Dusty, but we could make some big money very quickly. There's a massive demand down at the pizzeria. Can you come down with the uh, the trailer and the low loader, and we can chuck on all of the cheese and get it sold? Yeah, I can do that. Let me just get this bull in the field, and I'll head straight down. Okay, Dusty, yeah, nice one. Thank you very much. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Bye. Fantastic turn up for the books then. Yeah, it's always good to keep hold of the crops and the stock until the time is right. But every now and then you get a bit of demand in the town. You've just got to jump on it. You've got to take the opportunity when you can. Like I'm doing right now. I, uh, yeah, I thought I might as well just go and grab some of this manure straight away and give the old, or oh, say give the old, give the new tractor a go. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're in trouble. My ass is up in the air. Damn it. I need to get some weights on the back. Yeah, well, I would never have said that that was particularly heavy, but manure is quite dense. And this little baby is only tiny. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm going to have to get a weight on the back of this little fine lady. So what I'll do, I'll just back up, drop the bucket down, release it here, and then I'll go and get a weight. And that works out not too bad, actually. There we go, because what it means is I can actually pick up the forks at the same time and that's the other job done.
That looks pretty smart on there. Nice, got the forks on. And I've got a little 650 kilo weight on the back. No, sorry, 600 it says there. 600 class weight. Perfect, not too big, not too bulky. That will do the job, I hope. Right, let's get back down. We can pick this hook up later and finish the job we were doing. Maybe I'll manage to finish my game later on as well. So I won't deny that I think when we first moved here, Dusty and I were pretty much just money drunk. We had so much money in the bank. I know for one, I went ahead and bought a whole load of stuff I perhaps shouldn't have done. That massive combine, we haven't used it yet. And as things stand, we don't even have any crops in a field. In fact, we don't even have a field we could put the crops in to warrant using it. I don't know why I bought it. I just wanted it. I'm going to leave the forks there for the time being. Let's see if this weight is enough in order for us to finish our manure work. If it's not, I'm going to have to swap it out for something a bit heavier. 650 should be enough, considering the weight load on the front is 650. Right, let's give this a go. Let's fill the bucket up. There we go. Lifting. Yes, I think we're about balanced. We've got traction. We're not crabbing anywhere. Ah, oh, brilliant. Now we've got an operation. The ball's in. Seems happy enough. Take him a little while to get used to the girls. Take them even longer, I wouldn't have thought. I'm going to go get this ram in with the sheep. Then I'll best go down and help out the YouTube guy. Well, there he goes. He's got on the scent straight away. Good old boy. He's a pretty hefty fella. I don't think I'd want to piss him off. Go on then, boy. Go have your fun. Well, I've done a couple of loads already. Let's just get this low and in. Fill the bucket all the way up. There we go. Great little tractor, though. Great little tractor. 75 horsepower, I think. Maybe 95. But this is just what we needed from day one. Dusty and I have both said it. And we finally got the vehicle that we need. I think it was a great choice. Come in from the side angle, make sure we keep everything equal. Let's get the bucket tilted. There we go, that's it. It's not a very big bucket, it fills up pretty quickly. Let's get myself reversed up. Three, four, five, maybe six points. No, I've done it in two. A bit more space that time. Did you see then? Bit rocky. Certainly a bit rocky. Yeah, I can feel the back is super light. It's just enough to balance it. All right, there we go. I don't know how much to put in here. It's a job that needs doing, but I think I want to go and get some solid fertilizer now. Let's go and do that. Well, I'll be damned. Boys down here been real busy. That's hell of a lot of butter and cheese. Computer guy said nothing about the butter. That can stay here for now. I'm gonna load up with the cheese. Take it over to the pizzeria. Lucky for me, it's only round the corner. Well, I've got the, uh, the bag hook attached. Again, always do a quick check. Bit of lean up and down, okay. So the big bags, I've just ordered two of them, have just been placed out by the side, I think. Obviously not out here, be easy to see. Here we go, on the right hand side, beautiful. So let me pick those up and we'll get those into the greenhouse and that should allow us not to have to worry too much for a while. Now I've not used a bag hook like this before, so I believe I need to kind of spear it, I presume. That would make sense carefully hard to judge the distance oh, I'm under no I'm not I missed it damn it let's try that again under we're in just stepped out I mean I'm there so if I just lift it 
That should hook, I would have thought. Lift. No, I've missed. Okay, let's get definitely under. There we go. There we go. Yes. Okay, I can drop that down. There we go. Well, I'm happy with that. It's not quite on the hook, though, I must say. But it's... <laughs> It's on, and we're only going around the corner, so yes, I need a bit of practice with this new bit of equipment, but that will do for now, I'd say. Oh dear, I swang really quickly just coming down the ramp back there, and I've, uh, I've kind of dislodged the bag, and it's really putting a lot of pressure on the right-hand suspension, as you can see, everything's on a lean. I'm hoping that I'm not going to have to rejig this, I think I'll be okay, I think. Let's get into position. Let's get this raised. Hopefully, actually. Oh, there we go. Swung forward. Great. That's what I was looking for. Get that over the box. Brilliant. There we go, then. That's what I'm talking about. That's what it should look like. Happy days. Get the cheese strapped on here. And I'm good to go. Right, one more to pick up. Let's see if I can do a better job of this one. I doubt it, knowing what I'm like, but let's give it a go. Right, straight ahead. Right, I'm on top of the bag there, as you can see. Let's back up a little bit. Hard to judge the distance, it really is. And I'm thinking if I come low enough, have I got it? No, ah, come on. Right, forward. Now I feel like I've got that. Yes, I think I have. Yes, I have. I'm happy. That's a much better attempt. Okay, let's go get this into the greenhouse. No, damn it. I dropped it. Panic over. Just a minor slip. This is not an easy bit of equipment to use, I must admit. I thought it'd be a little bit more straightforward than it is, but it it just seems to want to slip off the top of the bags. Maybe I should have just picked up pallets instead. Ah, Dusty's here. Yeah, there's the fence. Oh, oh, that means he's done moving the cheese down to the pizzeria. I wonder how much he made. Now that's a tidy little mess you picked up there, YouTube guy. Did our plan work out? Did you make a good deal with the Carrero? Yeah, I reckon so, Dusty. Sold it for 80 grand, can you believe it? Virtually brand new, as we know. Managed to pick this bad boy up for 45. All the attachments, I don't know, maybe came in at about 10, 55 in. So yeah, we came away with a really good profit out of that. And now we've got the machinery we need to make sure the greenhouses and the vines and even the apple orchard down the bottom are working the way we want. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some apples out of there. Make ourselves some nice English cider. You get a good batch, that stuff will knock your socks off. Well, that's news to me, Dusty. I'd always assumed you were a whiskey guy. But if you fancy a bit of scrumpy, trust me, I know how to make a good batch. Oh, now you're talking my language, computer guy. You can't hold on to knowledge like that. In fact, between you and me, this entire plot could be used to make booze. We got apples for cider. We got our grapes for a wine. We get rid of these lettuce behind me. Stick in more fruit. We can make ourselves some fruit ciders and perries as well. Oh yeah. Can you imagine, YouTube guy? Yes, Dusty. I can imagine you'd be pissed as a fart all day long. We get nothing done around here. You see that, YouTube guy? How do you know I ain't drunk right now? Yes, Dusty. I honestly can't tell the difference. Anyway, this is Jibber Jabber. Do you want to have a go on the old Massey and finish loading in the uh, manure over there? Yeah, why the hell not?
Well, I've just had a quick check of the bank account while Dusty is sorting out the uh, the last bit of manure. And I can tell you that we made £9,997 on the sale of that cheese to the pizzeria over there. That's not bad at all. That has paid pretty much for the front loader and all the attachments such as this fork here. That's brilliant. Well, Dusty is going to finish that job for me, which is fantastic. I'm back down, walking down pretty much where we started, actually. I am so looking forward to seeing these vines produce some actual fruit. I need to check the calendar as to when that might be, but we are all geared up and ready to go. We've got all the equipment. We've got the pruners, the sprayers, and absolutely the picker. Oh, the picker is going to be great fun. Dusty informs me that the bull is in the field and he seems happy already, so we should have some cows in calf anytime soon. And also, he didn't tell me he was going to do this, but he picked up a ram and he's in with a sheep as well. All the animals are happy as you like. Our new trees are happy as you like. I'm happy as you like. And I hope you guys are happy too. If you like this content and you want to see what's coming up next in the series, just hit that subscribe button and hit that tinkly little bell and you'll get notified every time a video drops. And if you're still interested on how this whole adventure started, then check out the prequel series every Monday, Freelance Farmer. I hope to see you there. Until then, take care. Bye bye.